Hello guys, welcome to this very, very quick video. Do you know, I've actually been flying all day and I told myself I wasn't going to make another one, but uh, I've just tried something and do you know what? I've decided this is my definitive setup for Microsoft Flight Simulator in VR for the Reverb G2, for me. I've actually decided that OpenXR, the slider, the custom render scale slider that I've been talking about, I've left that now at 50% and my render scale in the sim itself is at 100 and I'm going to keep it at that setting completely I'm not going to mess around with it anymore and my motion projection I've just disabled it completely disabled it um, and I'm finding that actually the performance is really nice and smooth if you get really really low to the ground I'm talking like 50 feet you'll be able to see a little bit of ghosting because you you know you're not at the native 90 frame rate <laughs> you know that you need uh, without motion projection but to be honest it actually looks really smooth even at sort of uh, 1400 feet right now and the views are outstanding they feel really really just pin sharp because the idea of having a reverb g2 is that you enjoy that beautiful clarity and i've had a few comments uh of people saying you know what's the difference between the open xr slider and the render scale slider in the sim you know surely it's doing the same thing and you're right you know you think it would be and i'm no boffin i don't understand what it is but that render scale slider in the sim makes a massive difference to the uh, visual clarity in a bad way even if you put it down to 80 or 90 you know you just really lose so much of that image quality in the G2 and the performance doesn't really change much yet if you change the open XR slider down to 50 leave your render scale in the sim at 100 I literally can read everything in that little G3000 panel in fact this is the ben uh, Bonanza which has the smallest Garmin unit I think of all of them and I can read every single piece of that text there I can read the comms the nav frequencies just everything is crystal clear and that's what it's all about inside the G2 so you know I think that to me is the sweet spot for my system and if you haven't tried it give it a go and report back <laughs> so happy new year I've said that a million times now so I'm not gonna say any more but uh, happy new year to everyone I hope you're having a nice day as I say, I've been flying all day today and I just stumbled acro across this setting and it seems to be the perfect definitive setting for me right now in this sim we're touring japan at the moment it's part of my world tour and i'm loving it just this sim is so beautiful so relaxing just to sit here and enjoy vr just all these islands are absolutely gorgeous and if my japan friend is watching i need to come and visit you in this country honestly it'd be a great excuse look at those roads imagine oh my god i need to bring my bike over here <laughs> look at that for a road that's insane right anyway i'll see you very soon I'm going to do a Rift S setup video very soon as well, so take care and bye for now.